to my channel. I feel so weird saying that. I can't get a good intro started. But anyway, today I've got a DIY tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to make these floating Alice in Wonderland style teacups. So basically, if you're having, these are great for like a party, tea party, weddings. Um, they make really cute centerpieces. Um, or like in a table setting. So I'm going to show you how to make these today. Okay, so what you're going to need. First of all, you need a china teacup. This is one I have just started. You're going to need some no more nails, which I'll talk to you about now. And you're going to need a fork or a piece of wire. That's what makes your teacup float. For the teacups that I made, I use a fork. You can use um, an old coat hanger as well. Whatever is handy for you. I just had some spare forks. To bend the tip of the fork, I just use one of these. I don't know what they are. I'm not really good with tails, but it bent the tip of them so that it lied flat onto the saucer. So listen very carefully when I talk about the glue. I have made a couple of these and I used a glue gun, a hot glue gun. I used like that instant grip kind of glue. All of them eventually came loose and they broke. So the one thing I have found that has worked, but you need to let it set overnight, is the no more nails and no more nails none of them have broken once I use this you only need this to stick the fork to the china or your wire and um, you can use normal glue for then sticking on the pieces of foliage and your flowers you can use a glue gun for that but to stick them no more nails is your only man so if you're making a load of them make sure to get one of the industrial size because one of these size only done two cups so if you are for like a wedding or a party and you might be doing 10 or 20 maybe get the big like workman size um industrial size one with the gun thingy you know what i mean <laughs> so i use loads of no more nails and don't worry it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to cover this with the green foliage so I, the easiest way I found to put it on was I laid it flat, I stuck this on first, then when this was set of it, I put the end piece on. A thing you need to remember as well, it needs to not be too heavy because if your cup is too far over here, it's going to topple and it's going to fall. But don't worry because if that does happen, just put some coins here as weights to, to weigh it down and then you can cover it with the foliage. So you're going to need to leave your no more nails to set overnight. Now you don't have to get this brand but this type of, um, I don't know what you call it, adhesive. So you don't have to get this brand but just the one that will set overnight. Um, so make sure you, if you're making a batch of them, maybe set them all at night time and then you can do them the next day. Um, I done these last night and then when I woke up this morning they had all set and they were all nice and hard. So that is the technical end of things. They're the two most important thing is a good glue and the balance so that the cup doesn't topple. They're the two most important things and the rest is all fun. So I'll show you the little decorative bits but if you have a little search on Pinterest for um, floating teacups or Alice in Wonderland teacups, you'll see tons of ideas. They're deadly for Easter. You can put Easter eggs in them. There is, the ideas are endless. Um, I have just gotten some like simple little flowers and a bit of foliage so I've kind of gone with like a garden theme I suppose you could say so have a little look at what I got so I have got some florist tape I have some bunches of little crafty flowers now you can get big ones the pound shop is really good for getting fake flowers that you can use then I have a big bag of fake foliage in here you can use this if you buy a bag of this you can use this for tons of things Um, so I have loads of this i got this in my local craft shop so i picked everything up from inspiring ideas in blanchetown just because that is my nearest craft shop so that's where i picked up everything and then the no more nails i picked up in the woodies in blanchetown as well for florist tape the reason why i got some florist tape was because it was a really good way to hide the fork so you see on this one, I have stuck on some of the foliage, but you have to stick on loads to cover the actual silver fork. So I just got some flower tape. I think it was only two or three euro. And there's tons. You can use this for other crafty things. It's always handy to have a bit of tape in your kit. So I'm going to use that to put this around this.
What would actually be really cute as well is um, if you had like a fairy garden or any of the little trinkets, some like mushrooms, um, you know the tiny little mushrooms that you get with fairy gardens or like if you had like a mini door you could do a little fairy teacup garden which I thought would be really cute but I don't have any of them things but just a little idea if you are making them. Another little idea is why not make a mini teacup garden. So again this would be really cute if you wanted to do like a fairy garden um, and like that you didn't have a big garden, maybe you live in an apartment, you could make a little fairy garden out of the little teacup as well. And all I've done is I've just put some of the little foliage in, glued it down and then slotted in these little flowers. But like that you could pop in a little fairy, a little mushroom or something like that and it would be really, really cute. video somewhat useful and um, please let me know if you are going to attempt and try and make them yourself or if you have made them leave your links below in the comments so I can check out your blogs or your Instagrams and um, share some pictures with me because I love seeing them and um, mine was kind of thrown together quite quickly but there is so much you could do with the little accessories you can literally make your imagination run wild so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a cheeky subscribe if you did enjoy it and hopefully I'll be back soon with a painting video because I'm itching to paint a few bits that I have in the shed so subscribe and keep an eye out thanks so much for watching